planner lovelies welcome back my name is Mella aka the cooler planner babe those of you new to my channel please be sure to like subscribe share tell a friend hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos those of you returning as always I appreciate the love and support so let's get right into it I was going to do ooh, my nail is messed up goodness I was going to do an unboxing but I decided to just go ahead since it's mainly my budget stuff anyway and we're just gonna do a quick setup so my original plan was to purchase the new 2020 budget planner and Franken plan it into my classic planner setup which is stargazer and classic teacher and also my wellness but I decided to just go ahead and separate my finance completely because it's a lot of financial goals in 2020 and I really need to stick to them and plus if I do decide to go to a planner meetup or something and I take my classic with me I don't really want my financial information in there so first thing I always pop out those metal little brackets because personally I prefer it not be in there because I can keep my cart way more organized I don't have to constantly move them all out so that I can get one back where it was supposed to be. Nah, it's already in there. Let's tie that and get it over with. Keeps all those sheets. Cause I'm pretty rough on my sticker books, y'all. So my sheets are always starting to come out. So this will work. And I also label the top with my own label, which I already printed and because I already have the sticker book anytime there's a new release I always put the year in front of whatever it is but we'll put that on later but yeah I did get this one I'll give y'all a quick flip through if you haven't seen it already which I'm pretty sure a lot of planner babes have already put that up there those are just little dots can be bullet points whichever it is account trackers um, paydays I am happy that they did the paydays like this instead of dollar signs because I feel like you get way more that way. And it's the auto pays, no spends, fade, bill due, all that good stuff. Weekly expenses, well, weekly spending. So you know you can track what you spent in the day. I love this for when you have a goal of whatever you're saving for and you can do the balance that way, it's great. Um, budget, strips, bill pay, savings. I love that the savings are done this way instead of how it was just the little piggy because now you can actually put like how much you were gonna save. Bill do, bill do, other little bill do's, you know. These are also little icons, foiled, uh, you know, like that could either be insurance, car payment, credit card, rainy day funds. Small enough icons, and I do think you get way more icons than you did before. And you know, just go, more bill do, stuff like that. I'll do like a official official flip through another time but this right here is the best and I was gosh you got some probably here <laughs> my daughter uh, I can never get through a video without some kind of noise but yeah I was going to do a metal silver metal disc on this but I decided you know it's not traveling with me in any way and 
that's the main reason why I love metal discs because I feel like if I'm traveling with my planner and it's getting moved around and bumped around in my bag and things like that then the other discs tend to crack and yeah but this will be at home so it'll be fine get that off right there question note from Stephanie yeah, I don't know how many of these notes I've read in the past year always a new planner of course you do know this comes in dated so you'd have to put that down I have date and holiday sticker books that I can date my monthly but the thing that made me really go for this planner is because it's just pure budget that's all it is it really bothered me that the other budget planners had that the weeks of um, horizontal layout pages and it's like I really didn't need that I just needed it to be purely budget so I was very surprised and very 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 happy when I saw that this was the new budget layout I already have my little name printed that I did on my Cricut and that's gonna go there and it's gonna be set up and all pretty you guys so yeah that was just a quick little flip through of my new purchase my new addition to my 2020 planner lineup I will do a more in-depth I guess plan with me but this is it now I am debating whether or not I'm going to get the companion pack that goes with it for the simple fact that I already have my own cash envelopes and then that one only comes with I believe four envelopes so they are cute it would be nice to just you know toss them in here but I'm not really sure because there's a lot of other things in that companion pack that I don't really feel I would need they're not a necessity it's, it would be more of a want but I'll see how that goes I do need to take this out of here this is gonna have to get added in there and also this finance dashboard won't need to be in there anymore eh, did ease up that one a little bit so these are gonna get added in here probably there's no more so so I'm probably gonna go ahead because it needs to be somewhere I'll see it immediately well no it doesn't it doesn't need to be where I'll see it immediately. We're gonna do it like this. We'll just put it. Hmm. Huh. We'll put it here. That way, when I flip to this part that has the goals or anything, any extra little bill, this is something that I have to redo. It's like a little bill tracker for certain dates, but I'll have to redo that for 2020. So yeah, I'll use this to pop bills and certain things, and I'll just move it in front of whatever month that I'm in. So tonight is going to be a get it dated and all that stuff. I don't typically like undated planners because yes, it is work but I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it all out tonight get every month dated because this is not gonna be one of those planners that I start and I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish through no finance that's what it's gonna be and it's gonna get done because there are way too many goals for this month 
And I guess since I only have one, I'll have to take that finance off and put monthly, but I'll just keep it where each month is. So that I can just get directly to that month. Or should I put it on the week? Because I do have these tabs to get me to the month, so I should probably keep it on the week that I'm in. That's probably the better option. Yeah. Just keep it for the weekly. So I'll need to eh, take that off. And I just realized the dashboard I chose huh, matches my little shiny sparkles on the outside. Yeah. So once I get it fully, completely set up, I will be back with the flip through. Yeah. Alright, Planet Birds. See you in a little bit. Okay, Planet Lovelies. I'm back. Here she is. Fully set up. Ready to go. Dated. I was only going to do the first like two months or so. And I was like, you know what? It's a planner that I'm going to use through the year. It's not like I'm going to change my mind halfway through like I have to stick to this budget so I sat there and I dated every single month so yeah quick flip through uh, like I said before decided to leave them on the original rings because it's not leaving my house it's not going anywhere so I don't have to worry about um about my rings cracking or breaking, they'll be at home. So, yeah. Name already in there. I did add the little 2020 right there just because, again, undated, so there's no year in it. And I just wanted to know, like, hey, that's what that was for. Now, this planner is not like these regular planners where you get this month part in between and then you have all of these little no you don't get that it goes straight into what would be your first month and what would normally be a currently page so for the budget planner it has you know your goal and stuff like that for the month so these items right here that I added into it will actually move as I move through my months. I don't mind having to move them. I mean, it's once a month. So every time I get a new month, it'll end up here. March will end up here and so forth and so on. So what I added in is my little DIY goals sheet. This is my... I did not press that down far enough. This is my overall financial goals for the year, so we're going to leave that right there like that. But that's what that is. I did take washi and add it to the sides of those because, I don't know, I just kind of want them to match. That's going to stay in here. That's going to be my overall goal for the year. Each month I will break that down into a task that will help me achieve that goal. And whatever task that is, I choose for that month, and then I'll break it down for each week. So it's just, for me, the smaller the steps are, the better. This sheet right here is actually, I'm not sure where Kellogg Plan got it from, but I got it from her, and I don't remember who she saw it with. But this was my original because I actually made one beginning or close to the beginning of this year. So this is my original. Things have changed. It got old, worn, didn't go with what I was trying to do. So I revamped it to my current bill amounts and, well not amounts, but dates. Basically all it is is things that have a set date or generally around this specific date I know where to put them when I'm doing my monthly budget I can just grab it and it's like okay these are my usual 
these are the usual dates they're on and I can somewhat budget around it again the date may or may not shift for certain ones but it's usually only a day or two off so I'm okay with that so this is all my normal bills through the month and I include um, like my Google Play music things like that too and then on the back I have things that come out weekly bi-weekly and yearly like my yearly subscriptions and things like that so when I'm going to plan I just pull this and I'm like okay so here's January what's going on what date what do I need to do around it paydays and I'll know exactly what needs to come out of what paycheck and, then, and I also put the washing on this too I don't know I just like things to match y'all don't mind me and then these are actually half sheets from I'm not sure if you'll see it before or after this video at some point I'm gonna upload <laughs> a video that shows my filler paper stash and I mean my classic classic half sheets many many half sheets just you'll y'all wouldn't believe how much filler paper I have but I do use them so I have cash envelopes but I don't like having to keep going and pulling out the whole envelope to get the little slip to see what's in it so I can keep this here with a constant balance and these are just I says regular half sheets from the socialite collection I believe and yes I use my stickers y'all I have so many I mean why not so each of these has like you know for each cash envelope and I'll just list out like hey I added some money took some money out whatever it may be and the date that I did it and I have I believe 12 so the house utilities groceries and just because there is cash in the envelope it doesn't necessarily mean that we are pulling from it I kind of just like to have backup cash because a lot of times we'll just do things from the I'll just pay things from like my debit card and call it a day but I do like to stash cash as well and then this pocket here came out of a accessory pack I was considering getting the companion pack but I decided no now if they would have came out with a budget accessory pack where you just got like maybe a pocket like this and a few you know some paper and a few extra things and yeah but that whole companion pack I really don't need it like if I go buy it it's just because I'm having FOMO that's all but I'm not gonna do it so that's that and then yeah the rest is just the regular planner I did go ahead and take off that finance and just went ahead and put important and this is gonna go on whatever the current week is. And yeah, I went in, dated all. These um, holiday stickers came out of the, oh, what's it called? The Essential Planning sticker book. Or was it my planner base? No, it's the Essential Planning sticker books. I just like the lettering a little more, but the months came out of the memory keeping dates and holidays because there's a regular dates and holidays and then there's a memory keeping dates and holidays these came out of the memory keeping dates and holidays and the numbers came out of the regular dates and holidays because that's the one that had the mini in it that I needed yeah so that's it I just went through did all of that and she is set up ready to go my cash envelopes are set up ready to go because it's part of my 2020 goals um there will be another video as well with my word for 2020 
and in there where I break down certain things you'll see why I decided to go ahead and get this because it it pretty much goes with it a bit so yeah that is my 2020 budget planner I hope you guys like this video I know it was a two-parter but I just thought to clip them together I'm pretty sure you guys didn't want to see me sit here for an hour or something even sped up it would still take forever to watch me set this up so yeah thank you guys for watching again those of you new to my channel please be sure to like subscribe share tell a friend hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and those of you returning as always i appreciate the love and support have a great one my lovelies